My name is Desmond Okreku Danzunao, and actor and show host George Quay led a group of stakeholders to petition the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture to scrap the new name for Ghana's movie industry, Black Stars Film. Now, according to the petition, the Black Star Films bears a striking similarity to the awards and film festival, Black Star International Film Festival, founded by the National Film Authority's Executive Secretary, Juliet Asante. The group wrote that renaming the Ghanaian film industry after the BSIFF creates a conflict of interest and ethically questionable situation. This is wrong and must be condemned by all well-meaning industry players with all the contempt it deserves, bestowing that the industry does not need any renaming because it has always been recognized legally as the Ghana film industry and well captured in all existing documents. Now, joining us via the phone to give us more explanation on this is George Quay, actor and media personality, and also leader of the petitioners against the renaming of the Ghana movie industry. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us. First off, Thank you, my brother. I, I want to know why you think that it is really not a good idea for the Ghana movie industry to have a broad name, and in this sense, the Black Stars films. Uh, to start with, nobody is saying the Ghana Movie Awards does not need to have a brand name. The question is, why fix what's not broken? Uh, in your submission, you give it a name. You called it something. You said the Ghana film industry, and that's what it's always been, and that's exactly what it is. When the movies that got us a lot of um, global recognition, like um, Dying of the Sun, like African Timba, like Deadly Voyage, like Anansi and stuff were produced, the industry didn't have a nickname. It was a Ghanaian film industry, and that's what it's always been. So it, you know, it, it makes one wonder why does somebody so, so, so strongly want to change it? And indeed, when you go deeper into it, it kind of looks like there are other ulterior motives beyond just the name change. So um, some of us um, read between the lines and figured, no, this is not what the industry needs at the moment. The industry already has a name. It is known as the Ghana film industry, mm. and would like it to remain as such. I mean, you've already gone into the details of the conflict of interest and all that, and that is fact. You can pick up a phone right now and call the Registrar General's Department, tell them you want to register Ghana film industry and see if it's going to be possible. We have done this research, and we can tell you on authority that it's not going to be possible because the Executive Secretary of the, mm. uh, the National Film Authority already has a film festival called the Black Star International Film Festival. And that bears a very, very striking similarity to the uh, Black Star films. So the Registrar General's Department is not going to let you have it. Mm. So what's the point of having something that you cannot register in the first place? But, but George, were these concerns, uh, why didn't you bring up these concerns as the process uh, was being done for the renaming? I mean, it started somewhere see, earlier I, in the year. I, I find it quite uh, uh, disingenuous when we ask this question. Mm. This question should go to Juliet Asante, who is the boss at the NSA. Why didn't she cancel it off the table when it was brought to her table? Why didn't she stand against it? She's the one who's boss at the NFA. I'm not the boss at the NFA. Okay. She's the one who was put there by the government of Ghana. She's the one who has the laws on her table. She's the one who's got the constitution on her table. And if she read that constitution very well, she would know very well that Article 284 speaks very, very strongly about the elements of conflict of interest. Hmm. She is the one who has been put into a conflict of interest situation by the board or the committee she set up to rename the film industry. She is the one who should be answering these questions. I mean, the fact that I was asleep while my house was being robbed and people were shouting, if you, if you, and I was unable to wake up and stop the thieves, doesn't mean that when I woke up and I realized my television set was gone and I looked into my cameras and realized where the TV was gone, I shouldn't take steps to retrieve it. Okay. It doesn't matter what was not done or was done before. We okay. have noticed the wrong mm -hmm. that has been done now, and we are taking steps to rectify it. The only person who had the power to change it before it got here was her. So okay. the question should be, why didn't she change it? So we know that you met with the uh, Deputy Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture. Uh, what were some of the things that were discussed? What were the fallouts from that particular meeting? Oh, I won't call them fallouts. It was a pretty successful meeting, and the Honorable Deputy Minister did accept our petition in good faith and did uh, promise us that he was going to engage all stakeholders okay. and then after that would um, get back to us and we'll see the best way forward. Okay. Thank you very much for talking to us here on Newsmeet. Thank you very Thank much, you. George Quay. Thank you. Bye.
So that was George Kwe, uh, actor, media personality, and also the leader of the uh, petitioners against the renaming of the Ghana film industry. That's it for showbiz.